Hi, my name's Clara. I am currently living in Atlanta, Georgia. I am uh, studying to be a nurse anesthetist. Okay. So I need a prosthetic eye because when when I was 16, I was diagnosed with ARN, which is acute retinal necrosis or a disease that causes blindness. And so within 24 hours, uh, and a painful process. I lost all of the vision in my right eye. Um, I still have my right eye, but it's shrunken over time and is basically discolored. And um, I needed, I wanted a good prosthesis though to be able to work confidently. I found myself going into patients' rooms and not making eye contact with people because I was embarrassed and just not confident in the way I looked. Um, and so I really wanted something that would make me feel more confident and less afraid to interact with my patients. My concerns looking for a prosthesis were, so I'd seen two other ocularists and both times I left feeling A, uncomfortable because it was kind of a bulgy prosthesis and um, so it was just hard to be comfortable day to day. But two, it just didn't match the shape of my other eye and it also didn't match the color well. And so I just felt like every mirror I looked in or every time I had a conversation with somebody, it was noticeable. And so I wanted to find somebody that could make a match so good that I don't have to answer questions all the time or feel insecure. Okay, one thing I wish I knew about prosthetic eyes before I started. Um, so, I wish I knew that they could be this good. You know, I lived like the last four years thinking this is the best prosthetic I could get um, before I met John. And, you know, I was really unhappy with it and unconfident with my old prosthetic eyes. Um, and I just thought that's the best you know, you could get. So I, I wish I knew that, that this was possible um, before I started. And then I also wish I knew um, what I, I think I'm most excited about from John is the dilating feature. My eyes dilate so much at night. And um, that was like a big confidence thing for me, especially being in college, going out and having a huge dilated eye and the painted prosthetic, not being able to dilate. And so this has been huge and I wish I knew that this existed before I got my old ones. So with my old prosthetic eyes, um, I would find that around 7 p.m. every day I was in in some pain and just ready to take it out. So, so my personal routine or maintenance for my piece, so in the past I never found one that was super comfortable so I would typically have to take it out by 7 p.m. every day and I would sleep without it. Um, I've only had this new one for two days, but I have not taken it out since I um, have first put it in um, because I don't have to, it feels comfortable um, to wear at night. And you know, in the past I would watch Netflix or whatever without my prosthesis in um, because it would bother me, but the past two nights I've been wearing it. so. Yeah, I'm excited and hopefully I won't have to take it out as much as I did my old one. I have used a sock eye and again, um, I think what I suffered the most from was lack of confidence because obviously it's not fitted specifically for me. Um, and I knew that and I could tell because it was, it didn't match my other eye. And so I think lot, lack of confidence was one uh, some discomfort. So I selected advanced artificial eyes for my prosthesis. So, and this, this happened because uh, it was one day that I was out at a bar and I had, I think three people that night say, what's wrong with your other eye? Because it, it just didn't match my good eye. Um, my prosthetic didn't match well. And I left just crying and feeling so uncomfortable and unconfident. And so on my walk home, as I was crying, I Googled uh, dilating pupil because I just thought, I don't wanna have to deal with this for the rest of my life or just, and so what came up was just John. And I saw that 
he has this dilating feature. And so I immediately called him um, and set up an appointment to come out here. And I'm glad I did. Um, what I've liked most about um, advanced artificial eyes compared to um, other ocularists um, is just John is very aware of the emotional impact that having one eye or you know how that affects your confidence how that affects just day-to-day -day life um, and so he always checks in with me and he's made sure I feel comfortable and I understand the process whereas in the past I felt like um, I would come in maybe for 30 minutes they'd do a generic mold and nobody would ever ask if I was okay uh, nobody would really check in with how I was feeling and so I think the like sensitivity is like a big part of like I didn't know that existed in an ocularist and so now I'm like wow this was missing the whole time um, because that's just as important as like perfection and artistic abilities so yeah so my confidence is now has it just dramatically increased over the last 48 hours with this um, new prosthesis. I mean, it looks just like my other eye and, you know, I was doing my hair um, this morning in the mirror and to not like my, my gaze did not go directly to my prosthetic because I didn't even notice it, you know, like now I can look at other features um, on myself without just constantly critiquing my shell. So my confidence is better. What I'm grateful of that I don't have to worry about with this new prosthesis is not having to take it out all the time or having to leave places early uh, or dinners early to go home and take out my prosthesis because this is just much more comfortable. Um, and then I also don't have to worry about like looking the other direction when I'm speaking with people because this matches so perfectly I can be confident and I don't need to kind of hide myself from the gaze of others. So I would tell somebody in need of a prosthetic eye that um, I know now that I've met John is that there are, there's more individualized pieces available. I think I, I'd always gotten a very generic molds that, that aren't individualized for me. And, and I just thought that was the best that was available, but I just had no, like this is so individualized. This is the shape of my other eye. And I did not have that before. It was just some mold that was generic and not at all the shape of my other eye. It was just a go-to mold for everyone. And so now that I have this and my eyes match so well, the shape, the color, the size, um, I just wish that I had known before and I hope that other people out there looking for a new prosthetic, know that there, there's, you can find somebody to um, make you, make it match and make it, make it just for you. And then also I would let people know that um, what I didn't know before is um, these appointments don't have, like have to be um, dreadful and just kind of like a hassle in the past, I would just, come in, be thrown out for a couple hours uh, while the ocularist would work on the show. And I just felt like very uncomfortable and very distant from the provider the whole time. And so I would want people to know that you can make an appointment. You can find somebody like John who makes you feel comfortable and involved in the process and makes you feel seen and heard. Yes, I'm so happy with my prosthesis. And is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, I would just add that I wish that I had come here or found John four years ago <laughs> because the last four years have been, I've, it's just been very, it's been hard. I've been extremely like, and not, I've had very little confidence in myself and um, that's affected my social life, my social life in college. And so I wish I would have found this place four years ago. That's all I would really add, but right. yeah, I'm happy.